Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The wearing of wigs. Are women allowed to wear wigs? First of all, it must be understood that number one, wearing pig hair is strictly forbidden and the wearing of human hair is forbidden. There is a hadith by Rasul where he said that Allah curses the woman that joins her hair with another's hair and the one that does the joining also. Uh, and the one that gets tattooed and the one that does the tattooing also. So it's like changing the creation of Allah. So you can wear synthetic hair, uh, hair made from lion and fibers, plastic fibers, or from the hair of other animals. It's not considered uh, a, a form of deception if you do that because it's clearly visible that you're wearing a hair piece or a wig. But to wear hair from other humans or from the pig is strictly forbidden. Likewise, the wearing of tattoos, it's strictly forbidden to tattoo yourself with permanent tattoos. If you have a tattoo that you want to get rid of and it's easy to get rid of it without undue hardship or pain or permanent scarring, then you can try to get rid of it. If not, then it's best to cover it up as much as you can. Teeth filing. Rasul cursed the woman who filed her teeth as well. Teeth filing as a form of beautification where they would file their teeth down and make gaps in them to make themselves appear more youthful because as you age your teeth tend to become misaligned and especially as you move into your later years they tend to push forward so they, they may become unsightly so some women would file their teeth to make them look more youthful this is a form of deception and changing the creation of Allah Azawajal. so it's forbidden to do that but the wearing of braces or aligning the teeth or filing one teeth down to match the other teeth so that your bite is perfect, that's part of medical procedure and it's beneficial. It preserves your uh, bones even, it preserves the teeth, the health of the teeth and it helps in chewing. So that wouldn't be a problem. It's the cosmetic changing of teeth that is uh, not allowed. Also forgot to mention that henna, tattoo, henna tattooing is allowed. The waterproof tattoos are not allowed because I think the base of it would be henna with other chemicals and some of those other chemicals are waterproof, hence making wudu or ghusl the water wouldn't permeate, they would not be allowed. But natural henna, which leaves a dye that stays for a couple of weeks or uh, a short while, that's uh, permissible. Plucking, microblading, threading the eyebrows is not allowed. The, all you can do is if you have very bushy eyebrows, unsightly eyebrows that cause you distress when people look at them, you can uh, cut them to a, a level where all of them are at the same level. But to pluck and to shape, to redesign them and to give them a different shape and to thin them out as some women do, that's not allowed.